should say this week's Torah portion has the credit of having the most mitzvot of any Torah portion, a grand total of 72. And Rashi, the great medieval commentator, has a very interesting reading on the first three of those mitzvot. The first mitzvah is the one that prescribes how, if a soldier sees a woman in war who he wants to marry, he must take her captive, he must allow her to come home and mourn her family and leave her for a while. He can't just pick her up and throw her over his shoulder like seven brides for seven brothers. The second mitzvah is the rule of when a husband has more than one wife, which you could in those days, and he comes to hate or, or want to pay less attention to his first wife, he can't just divorce her. And the third mitzvah is the very challenging one of how parents are to treat a teen son who is basically running amok. Rashi links these three together into a little story or narrative. It's as if he's saying, once upon a time, there was a soldier who saw a woman he wanted to take captive in battle, and he brought her home, but then he came to hate her, and her child therefore became a teenage rebel. Now, we can read the commentaries for ourselves, but the point I want us to be holding today is this idea of narrative or story, the idea of the way that things link together, because, as I mentioned last week, and this is really my lens for the month of Elul, we are coming up to the High Holy Days. So if I ask myself, what can we learn from this linking that is relevant to our journey into the High Holy Days, I come up with a thought that says something like, the things that we do wrong are often linked to each other. If we've been mean to somebody, then that can often translate into gossip. The gossip itself can translate into another level of hurting. And if that's the case, then I believe that one of the things that the High Holy Days offers us is the opportunity to uncouple the links that make up that narrative. So my thought for us this week, for our Elul work as we walk towards the High Holy Days, is just that. Can we think of something about ourselves that we would like to change, that doesn't just stand alone, but links in to other aspects of ourselves that we would like to change? And can we begin to break down that story so that we can live better and straighter, and in a way that does ourselves credit? That was your Torah in two.